top tip now, pellets. We all know how to do pellets in water, but I like to do mine a little bit differently and there's a reason for it and it's a very good reason as well. Two new products perfect for this. Now, I'm a big believer in using oils in my pellets or flavours and both, which these two do both. We've got white coconut and we've got red krill, fresh from dynamite and they're absolutely perfect for using with pellets. Why? Well, I'll go through that now. Obviously water is thinner, it's a thinner texture, whereas obviously this is more viscous and when you actually put oil with pellets, it changes the texture of your pellet. Also, when you're actually putting water with your pellets, you'll find that throughout the duration of the day that your pellets will change in texture because they're the pellets are constantly absorbing the water. When you add oil, it actually refrains your pellet from swelling up any bigger than when you originally do them. So you end up at the end of the day with the same size pellet as what you start with, which is very important, especially this time of year when we're using small hooks and we, we don't want big baits. We want to use small baits to catch more fish. Today, cold day, I want to use a white, the white coconut. Absolutely perfect for this time of the year, clear water, white baits, neutral baits, neutral colours. However, in the summertime, I'd swap to the red krill. When the water temperature's warmer, the fish want a bit more flavour, a bit more colour in your pellets, will definitely catch you some more fish. So that's how I'd work them from season to season. White in the winter, red in the summer. So what I want to do now is I just want to run through how to prepare them. It's quite simple. Exactly the same process as what you'd normally do with water with your pellets and your pellet pump. But just a few little tips as, as we go along and it'll help you understand why we do it. So, a little measuring tub. We're going to use the 4mm expanders, Pro expanders again. Oops. Pellet pump. I'm going to pour a few 4 mils in there like that. Lid on. And as I say, with this, again, you can do them on the bank side. You don't have to do them the night before. Just fill the pellet pump up with water. All I want to use the pellet pump for is to sink the pellets and then after that I'm going to drain the water off. So just enough pumps to ensure that they sink, that's all I'm trying to achieve. I'm just starting to go now as you can see. There we go, just sunk. Drain the water off. And make sure they're all, the water is completely drained because we're, trans, we're, we're transforming the pellets in water to oil. We don't want much water with these. So drain the water off completely like that. Put the tub over the top. And now we're going to add the white coconut. The beauty about using these small tubs is I can accurate accurately measure how much liquid I put into these pellets and what I really want is equal quantities of pellets and liquid together so that means I'm going to fill this pot up until I can just see the liquid that's level with the pellets and that tells me I've got the right amount of liquid so all the pellets absorb the liquid and you'll end up with more consistently shaped pellets. So just take the lid off and give them a nice squeeze Give it a shake at the same time. Just going to put the lid on and give it a shake just for me to check how much liquid's actually in here. And as you can see there, just a little bit more. That's it. Another shake. There we go. All level. Now, this is the key part. Why do I want to use oil? Well, obviously, it makes my pellet more robust. It means I'm not going to be, my pellet's more robust. It's not going to be coming off my hook while I'm fishing. But also, it means I can use this pellet for other uses, apart from the pole. 
So when I'm, even with a waggler, I can hook them on to a normal hook without using a hair rig and cast them out, they don't come off. Same with a hair rig on a bomb, they're more durable. The oil toughens the pellet up. And especially what you'll find is on windy weather like what we get in the winter, when your presentation's obviously hindered because of the wind, you'll find that a pellet done in oil is heavier. So therefore it acts like a, like a piece of corn on the hook. You know, it stabilizes your presentation and that means you're gonna catch more fish. So the only thing we need to do now is let these rest. Everything's sorted, leave them for 20 minutes and this is gonna be your end product. Beautiful, lovely soft textured pellets, durable, suitable for every kind of situation. Hope this video has really been of use to you and hope you go out there and put them to use. You'll be impressed with your results and so see what happens. I've been using this oil for a long time now and especially with these new flavours out, I'm sure you'll catch a lot more fish. So best of luck.